Okay, here's an update video on the Drum Doctor. Um, I've just built the first prototype for the first breakout. This is tentatively named DDB1 for Drum Doctor Breakout 1. I'm not sure if that's actually going to be the name of it, but we'll see. And what you have here is um, four raw outputs, a noise output, and a four stage or combiner with two outputs as well. Um, some people asked, uh, on the last video what I was sequencing with well under this mess of spaghetti you can see I've got an RCD which is a 4ms rotating clock divider and the clock for this is coming from a Dopfire A115 um, triangle LFO um, yeah so let's have a listen to the raw outputs you can hear these are actually sort of dirty square waves when I say dirty they're not very clean you know not musical but they're certainly great for percussion um, I'll just turn it down a little bit. I'll plug these in. You can hear them directly. It's number one. Number two. And number three. And number four. And then you've got the noise circuit. So let's um, let's see what have I got here. Oh yes, I'll plug in. I've got this um, QMMG setup up the top here. Um, I've got you know the red channel you see on channel number two and on channel number three I've got yellow cables it's just so we can sort of keep it simple um, I've got these two red cables and they're going to a mixer here where I can control the volume of two oscillators so I'll put these in the top and then if we go up to the QMMG and I open up the gate you can hear that there and I've got the same with the yellow channel. When I say yellow, I mean yellow cables. These two are going to a mixer here. This is just like a dual channel mixer I've built myself. Um, you've got the two yellow channels. These are going to go into oscillator three and four from the drum doctor into the mixer. And the mixer output for that channel comes into the QMMG. And the triggers for both of these channels are coming from the RCD. And then we've got the output. So if I turn that one up, you can hear that one. And if I start the LFO here, you can start hearing some nice little sounds coming from the QMMG. And these are coming from the raw oscillators on the Drum Doctor. And of course you can swap them around. Or because I'm using a mixer down the bottom there, you can adjust the volumes of the individual elements how you see fit of course you can use the ore combiner to combine these oscillators as well you can use this, this noise as well or you can make maybe make some additional sort of sort of clappy snary percussion with the noise source and perhaps another oscillator or another filter I mean pretty much the sky's the limit there um, let's bring in this, let's plug this into the drum doctor we've got some hats going now um, if I turn this up, so all the sounds are coming off the Drum Doctor and the expansion obviously going through the QMMG and then back out to the sound card on the computer which I'm recording with. Um, like I say, I've got the RCD, these are hooked up to the bass drum and the snare and they're in the middle position so they're not connected to either channel. Up will go to the left channel, down will go to the right. So if I go up, we should get a bass drum. And if I push one down, we'll get a snare drum. And of course, the idea of combining them is you can combine triggers. And of course, if you've got something like a QMMG, you can mess around with this a bit. It's probably get really loud now when I put the resonance up. And I'm pretty sure that gives you a good idea of what the expansion is going to be like. If I can zoom in on that a bit. You 
can just see it's um, if the auto focus will start working. Yeah. I like say so you've got the four raw outputs, you've got a noise output, and the ore combiner, which enables you to make extra percussion um, with your modular, as well as you know playing the drum doctor along with it. All right, I think that's it for now. Uh, next up is the hand clap. That's going to be a couple of weeks. That'll be ready, and uh, then we'll be going. Uh, maybe two more weeks start going into production so maybe six weeks to seven weeks hopefully we'll have some units shipping out